Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I thought I would just film a nice, cozy and chilled spend the evening with me vlog. Um, we're obviously still in lockdown here in the UK. Um, so there's obviously not a huge amount to do. But yeah, so I'm pretty much just making my way through the entirety of Netflix, doing the odd home workout when I can be bothered and eating my body weight in food that I really shouldn't be eating. But hey ho, we're in lockdown, things can be sorted out afterwards. But yeah, so if you guys would like to see what I get up to this evening, then please keep watching. Apologies for this absolutely horrific lighting. Um, it is now, 10 past five, um, I have not long finished work. I've actually just popped out to B&M and to Asda. So I will show you guys what I picked up. It was just a real quick dash out. Um, but yeah, it's 10 past five now. And as you guys all know, it's getting dark at like half three, four o'clock at the moment, which is just super depressing. But there we go. Obviously, we're now pretty much in the midst of mists, midsts. I can never pronounce that word um yeah we're nearly in december so we're well into winter um yeah the days are just getting shorter and shorter and it's really sad but yeah so i just can't wait for the days to get lighter again because i start work and finish work in the dark and yeah it's just really depressing so let's start with the bits that i picked up from asda so these are just total random bits that i got the first one is peppercorn sauce so this is the asda quick simple and satisfying peppercorn sauce mix you just mix this with boiling water um i find this is just a great kind of staple to keep in your cupboard um, and it's super cheap next few tins i just got were of some soup so i'm having soups for my lunches at the moment um, i mentioned on a previous vlog that i prefer to have colder hotter lunches now it's getting colder um so i just picked these ones up in asda they're kind of asda's own versions of the gross and blackwell ones but this is the chunky soup in chicken and vegetable these are like 40 pence a can they're super cheap and these are just really good quick and easy for me to have for my lunches if you guys didn't know already then i work from home so i like to just have something that is Nice and easy, quick to whack in the microwave um, because I only tend to get about 30 minutes of lunch per day if I get that at all. The other one I got was a good old can of Heinz cream of tomato soup. You cannot go wrong. I just like to have plenty of these types of things in my cupboard just as a backup really. Um, I try and mix it up with other things but yeah, if I just have a short window for my break then it's just nice to be able to have something in the cupboard that i can go and whack in the microwave and it will take me a couple of minutes to eat next one is a tin of coconut milk so i am going to be making a mass man curry this week it's my favorite type of curry to make and yes you need coconut milk for that recipe um this is the reduced fat one by summer pride um yeah not much to say it's a tin of coconut milk Couple of other bits. Um, I did actually open this one in the car on the way home because I was super hungry. Uh, this is just a pack of just plain peanuts. So you use this for the Massaman curry recipe. And then the last couple of bits I picked up in Asda was the Fine Light. This is the one cow spray in golden sunflower oil. And then finally some garlic granules. So I'm really lazy and can't be asked to chop up garlic so yeah i just buy this kind of stuff does the trick for me okay next were some cleaning bits and pieces that i picked up from b m so first one is the dishmatic heads so this is a pack of two i think they were one pound each and yeah i just really like using my dishmatic as you would have seen if you've watched any of my clean with me videos um it just means you have to get like your hands and your likes your nails especially if you have like acrylics or anything like that it makes them last so much longer if you aren't constantly getting them wet from doing any washing up um yeah so pick those ones up got some toothpaste this is the colgate max white i don't always try and get the same type of toothpaste i literally just pick whichever one is on offer so that was the offer of today next i got some dylon brilliant black 
Um, I think these are what you put in the wash machine, or I hope they are at least. Yes, I think they are. So basically, I've got quite a few pairs of black jeans, which are just really faded, and that is obviously just what happens with black jeans. So I thought I would give these a go and see if I can get some of the colour back in them. I also picked up some Fairy Antibacterial. I do have a dishwasher, and I don't wash up that much, to be honest, but um, like I say, I just use my... Dishmatic, which does seem to go through quite a lot of washing up liquid. Um, but yeah, I just have that for when I can't fit things in the dishwasher. Um, next, I picked this one. I haven't seen this before, and apparently it's for kids, but you know, who cares? Um, this is the Kids Cold Infusion for Water Bottles, Mango and Orange by Twinings. So I think, so in here you've got 12 biodegradable infuses and I think you literally just fill up your water bottle and then put one of these in it says on the top drop leave shake and enjoy so yeah I think it's just as simple as that oh I'm not gonna lie it smells horrendous maybe I should have been able to try and smell it in the shop it smells it's very odd yeah, I'm not sure. I'll maybe I'll try one of those later and let you guys know how I get on, but they don't smell the best. Next, I got some, I'm sorry, this is really not the most uh, interesting of hauls, but, you know, maybe you guys will find something useful here in the stuff that I've picked up. Um, next is the Fairy Platinum All-in-One. So these are the dishwasher capsules. I am normally a complete tight ass and I'll just buy the cheap ones in Lidl but I've noticed over the last few months or so that they just they really don't clean the dishes very well so and I'm hoping that that's the actual kind of detergent that I'm using rather than the dishwasher itself so I thought I mean this little bag was 4 99 whereas I buy like a big pack and I think it's about 40 capsules this is only 17 and for 40 in Lidl it's like 2 99 I think. So yeah, this is already a couple of pounds more expensive and I'm getting less than half. But we'll give it a go. I thought I'd just buy a small pack. Obviously, it's not the best value for money to do it this way. But yeah, I just want to try it out and see if that makes things better. Sticking on the subject, the thrilling subject of the dishwasher, I picked up some dishwasher cleaner. Um, apparently, it's good to do this once a month. So I'm told, um, learning things in adult life, that you need to do things like clean the dishwasher. So this one is by Crystal. Crystal? Crystal, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I also picked up, whoo, I also picked up some of their dishwasher salt. So show you how much I know. I know you, you need to put dishwasher salt in, but I nearly put just normal table salt. Don't do that if you ever think that that's the right stuff to use. Apparently it's not. Um, good job I didn't quite go as far as actually putting it in my dishwasher. But yeah, you need to use dishwasher salt your dishwasher who'd have thought it um and then the last one on this subject is some rinse aid so basically i was just buying everything that said it's going to clean my dishwasher on it to try and help it clean my dishes better because i'm fed of putting things in multiple times because they don't come out clean last few bits um i picked up these well, I needed some new salt uh grinders so i picked up just a normal salt one in B&M and then I saw these other ones which have kind of got other things in them as well which I thought would be quite cool to try so the first one I've got here is the garlic and herb salt so it's pretty much what it says in the tin and then this one is the chili and garlic so I might use the garlic and herb one with my dinner this evening I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a mix of these two in together but who knows it was cheap and I thought it sounded cool so picked it up and then the last one I got, because again, I do like to have store, st store cupboard stick. What's the saying? I don't know. Anyway, it's a tin of Heinz spaghetti with sausages. I know this is probably what you should be feeding a child, but again, I just like these to have in my cupboard for when I haven't got long for lunch and I need something I can quickly whack in the microwave. So I picked up a couple of cans of those. And that is it, guys. So... 
And like I say, it is now, I've been chatting away, it's now 20 past five. Um, this evening's dinner, I'm gonna be doing a Joe Wicks chicken pie recipe. Doing it slightly different this time because I couldn't find phyllo pastry. Um, I could only find puff pastry, which I know, don't come for me, it's not quite as healthy and I am still trying to stay on my healthy brown wagon, but yeah, I slightly fell off of it last week. But yeah, it's a new week, we are, gonna be better this week um yeah you just got to take each week as you come haven't you but yeah that's the plan for this evening so that will probably take me up to about six i am quite hungry already so i haven't eaten that much today it's just been a busy day with work so i haven't really stopped but yeah i'm gonna put my little food shop and cleaning product shop away and then we will crack on with dinner so this is everything that you're gonna need for this recipe. So I've got some chicken. Um, I think I've got breast and thigh there. It's just basically bits of kind of leftover chicken from packs that I've had in the freezer. Um, corn flour in case you need to thicken up the sauce. Um, I've got some of the Asda kind of fry light version of their own. Um, I've got the garlic granules that I just showed you and also the salt and garlic and herb grinder that I just picked up in b and I've got some mixed herbs in that one. One onion, you can use normal onion. I've only got red onion left, so using that this evening. One egg just to um, cover the pastry. Got some bacon lardons. Creme fraiche, I think the recipe actually calls for, I wanna say it's like a small pot of double cream, but trying to keep it a little bit healthy, I will go with reduced fat creme fraiche. I've got chicken stock cubes, a bag of spinach, two leeks, and then finally my puff pastry. You're gonna need a big dish to do this one in, and then also a big pan to kind of cook everything in before it goes in the oven. So let's get started. Sorry guys, my camera wasn't recording when I thought it was. So yeah, great YouTubing skills demonstrated there. But this is what we're looking like at the moment. So in here, I've got the chopped up red onion. And then I put the bacon lardons in at the same time. Then I put the leeks and the chicken in and I've literally just put some stock so i used two stock cubes and it was 250 ml of water and now i'm just going to simmer this away a little bit and thicken it up and then after we've done that i'll just be using a bit of the creme fraiche adding in the spinach right at the last minute and then we're going to use the pastry on top so i will record when we get to the pastry stage how we are looking um, I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for probably about 30 minutes just until the pastry is cooked um, I've got the oven preheated to 180 so yeah pretty hungry um, but I will catch you guys once this is done so this is how we are looking um, yeah it grew legs in the oven and it's like sunk down a bit now but when I took it out this was like double the size that it is now it had like risen up loads um but luckily it didn't spill everywhere in my oven so i'm just gonna have to try and control myself and not have a huge portion for dinner because like i say i'm absolutely starving um, um i think it's gonna be one of those it's quite difficult to get out of the dish but let's give it a go 
I'm so excited for dinner. I feel like I've been waiting for this all bloody day. Um, so how are you guys doing in lockdown at the moment? I know I'm sure we're all struggling, but we're nearly there. Um, I know there's gonna be kind of some sort of three tiered system coming from the end of oh, this current lockdown, which ends on, I'm looking at the wrong side of the camera. <laughs> which ends on the 2nd of December, or is it the 1st of December? It's around that time. Um, but at least things like shops and hairdressers, beauty salons, all of that sort of stuff will open up again. So, you know, it's getting better. The only thing I'm still not sure on is how it's gonna work with being able to sort of socialize and see family members, that sort of thing. I'm really not fussed about the pubs and that being open, like it would be great it's going to be so weird like we can't have like christmas parties and all the rest of it but the main thing for me is being able to see family and that over christmas i don't have a huge family but because we're all so spread out we don't tend to kind of see each other that much apart from christmas and the odd birthday and things so yeah it'd be really shitty if we can't kind of meet up with more than just your kind of little bubble over Christmas. Um, I normally just spend Christmas with my parents. Um, like I say, the rest of our family is really spread out. So hopefully we can still see wider um, family members. But yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see, I guess, see what happens nearer the time. So I'm spending this evening just catching up on some YouTube videos. Um, and I'm getting so jealous watching everyone's hauls for Black Friday. Black Friday starts for me just a few days before, before payday. So I really don't want to be spending loads of money just kind of before it hits the December payday. Plus, obviously, you've got to be really careful because then I don't want to spend loads of money that I will need for Christmas presents. So yeah, I've just been watching Rachel Leary's um, video on the stuff that's coming up in the lounge, like underwear, um, Black Friday sales. And although it's great, but you know, they're doing like discounts and stuff, which I know that that particular brand don't tend to do they're still like their underwear sets are still like nearly 40 quid for like a bra and a pair of pants and i'm not being funny i think i'd still rather just go to primark like i guess it's nice to have the odd kind of like nicer piece in your wardrobe but yeah it still just seems like a lot of money for underwear to me so i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do tonight maybe i should have thought about this before i decided to film this video but Hey ho, I did my nails last night. Um, I didn't actually do my normal gel powder that I've been doing for the last few months um, because I've run out of the base coat that you need to, um, like, which basically sort of sets down the, the powder, which you can't do it without. Um, and yeah, I've still got loads of gel nail polishes in my collection from when I used to do gel nails before I started with the dip powder. Um, and I also put the, um, it's a hard gel by Blue Sky because I have really like flimsy and thin nails. Um, so yeah, we'll see how long they last. My nails are notorious for the gel just like peeling off. So hopefully they'll last a little bit longer. I also spent last night, I probably should have included that in um, tonight's video, um, decorating the final pieces for the flat. So I bought a, like a bland, plain uh, garland yesterday from Wilkinson's. And then I've put decorations like ball balls, all that. I really shouldn't be trying to talk you guys through this while I'm eating, but apologies. Um, I'm too hungry to not eat my dinner yet. Um, yeah, so I like stuck all of that on. I will do in a separate video a tour, like I've been saying that I want to do for the last few videos. Um, yeah, I'll do a tour of the flat of all the decorations because the do say to myself, the garland that I made looks absolutely bomb. And also I made my own wreath. Um, so I just bought, it was again from Wilco, just a plain um, wreath. I think it had like a couple of like fake pine cones and berries and stuff on it. And then I've just put loads of other stuff like oranges, cinnamon sticks, baubles, all of that cool stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm really chuffed with how that's come out. So yeah, stand by for that video. Um, I will have that out hopefully later on this week. Right, I'm gonna stop talking so I can finish my dinner and then I will catch up with you guys in a bit. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a face mask this evening. Um, I've got a couple of skin issues at the moment. One is this little area. It's always a problem area for me down here. Um, yeah, other than that, my skin's looking quite good at the moment, but I've just noticed since I sat in front of this mirror um, that I have got so much glitter stuck to my face. You guys will see from my um, Christmas decoration video that I bought a big banner, big gold banner, um, and it's covered in glitter. And I think glitter's obviously like fallen off it everywhere. And then when I'm touching my face, I'm just getting covered in glitter. So face mask I'm gonna be using this evening is this one by Glam Glow. I have had this one quite some time. This is the uh, Super Mud one. So it's the kind of gray, um, like a clay formula, I suppose. Um, but what I really like this one for is it's great for if you do have any areas of acne, it's the best one that Glam Glow do for that kind of skin issue. So I'm just going to take this brush, this is the Pointed Foundation Brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to be applying, you don't need too much of this, it's, it's a fairly pricey product so you definitely don't need to use too much of it, um, a little goes a long way. Okay, so I'm not going to take this any higher onto my forehead. It is quite a drying face mask and that is just the nature of it um, when it's kind of tackling any acne that you've got on your face. Um, and my forehead has been quite dry the last kind of week or so. Um, I have been exfoliating um, once or twice a week just to try and help with that. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to take the product up onto my forehead that takes about 10-15 minutes just to um set and then as you can see it's already doing down on my chin um it just kind of goes this kind of light gray color so after that's done i'll then wash it off and then tonight i thought i would give this a go so i recently picked this up from i think it was savers you guys know savers is like my ride or die for um like a face mask and skincare and that sort of stuff because it's all so cheap um this is one by Derma Tech Solutions V10 um, is one times 15 minute treatments. It's basically a hair mask. Um, it says, you are flamazing hair sheet mask with marula oil to nourish and condition your hair. And it's a coconut fragrance. So this just comes in a cup and it says, shampoo your hair as normal and then towel dry it. Then you take out the mask and put it on as you would a hat. I'm sure I'm like absolutely so fashionable with that on my head. Um, and then gently massage your hair and scalp so the product can be fully absorbed. Leave the hair mask on for 10, 15 minutes, then remove and rinse the hair thoroughly with warm water. So yeah, after I've done my face mask, this face mask is a little bit, it's, it's almost like a burning sensation and not in like a bad way, like you can feel it working and just pulling everything out of your skin. But um, yeah, it's not the most comfortable of face masks to have. Um, yeah, so my face mask is dry pretty much now. There's still a couple of little areas which are still a bit wet, but I think we'll leave it there. But yeah, it's pretty much as dry as it's gonna be. So you can really see like the areas. That's what I really like about this mask because you can see it working. So yeah, you can see all of the pores. Like you, I forget how many pores I have, especially on my nose until I use this mask. And you can see them on your chin as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash this off and then jump in the shower. So I will, I kind of get my words out. So I will be back once I have washed off my face mask and shampooed my hair. Okay, I've just got out of the shower. I, my skin is looking a little bit red from that face mask. It is actually looking a bit worse on camera, especially kind of on these areas of my cheeks than it is in real life. But as it always does, that face mask has left my skin feeling super soft. So I promise I am in a towel. I'm not sat here naked. Um, but yeah, let's crack on and do this hair mask. So I'm just gonna 
give my hair a brief towel dry. It's fairly dry already actually. So I got my hair done before, literally the day before we went into lockdown. It was the best timing ever. Um, and I had a lot of foils and highlights put in my hair. Um, like she just absolutely rammed them in. So it's a lot lighter now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, um, since I last had it done. Um, but obviously because of that, it's not the best for your hair, um, like for the condition of it. So I'm hoping that this will help. So it says, take out the mask and use scissors to cut along the straight edge. Put it on as you would a hat, ensuring all hair is covered and fasten the adhesive tab. It's massive. <laughs> oh, I don't know how this is going to work. I mean, how's she's got it on there? It's just sort of... Okay, let's give it a go. So it says cut along the straight edge. So that must be this one. I'm going to try and push all the product down a bit so it doesn't... I don't think that's working. <gasps> this is like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Okay, I'm just going to have to flip my head over. Abort, abort mission. <gasps> I'm not taking myself seriously in this. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Right. I think what I may have done is put it on back to front. I think this bit was potentially meant to be at the back of your head. I feel like as soon as I'm going to start massaging this, it's all just going to come flying off. Maybe it's just to, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> I just feel like a big paper bag on my head. Oh, who the hell knows? This is like the biggest fail ever. Right. You guys, I think I'm just gonna give up with this. I'm going to use my normal conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not bothering with that. What a waste of time that was. I don't even understand how that would... I just don't understand how that was ever supposed to, like, stick together. Who knows? Whatever is going in the bin. Wouldn't recommend that one. My poor hair. Right, I'm gonna go wash this off and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm fresh out of shower number two. And after sitting here and slagging it off, actually that hair mask probably would have been really good had it have worked, as in like it actually fitted and stayed on my head. Because even though it was only on for a couple of minutes, um, yeah, actually it made my hair really soft. Um, I put my own conditioner on afterwards just because there were still some bits like on the sides. Um, well, obviously it hadn't got to and, and like, um, and been like rubbed in and massaged and stuff. So yeah, um, disappointing that it didn't stay on my head properly because it probably would have been quite good. Um, so what is next for this evening? Exciting news. Um, if you guys didn't know, I mentioned it on a couple of videos ago. Um, or maybe it's a bit more than that actually. It feels like it's been a long time that I've been waiting. Um, finally, formally today, I have officially got myself a promotion. Woo! So I have been working my little ass off for the last 12 months really. Um, working from home, I know it probably doesn't sound that difficult, but I've been slaving away in front of my laptop on conference calls and all sorts of bits and pieces for what feels like decades. Um, yeah, trying to get all the experience and knowledge that I needed and I've finally done it. So I'm starting a new job, still within the same company, um, but yeah, I am stepping up a level. Um, this does mean I'm going to be spending a lot more time in the office, which is a bit of a change, something a bit nervous about for some reason um it's about a 45 minute drive for me to get to work so yeah that's gonna be a bit of a shock obviously i've been spending no money on fuel um so yeah my car's just been sat apart from when i've been like going to the shops and the 
odd thing that we've been able to do over the last kind of how many months it's been in lockdown um yeah so back in the office a lot more uh so i'm gonna have to actually get my ass out of bed i think that's what i'm worried about is that i'm gonna have to start getting up early again i can't just roll out of bed at like seven o'clock and just stroll in my dressing gown to the dining room table and start the day from there. I'm actually going to have to get up, put clothes on, which I just have not been doing over the last few months. I've just been so lazy. Um, I've just been living in like joggers and pyjama tops most days because I'm just super lazy. I'm just having the biggest slob ever. Um, so yeah, but super exciting. So I think, and this is probably, you guys are just thinking that's all she does in her evenings because it is what I've been doing on videos lately, is I'm going to pour myself a nice little glass of wine. Um, I've got some rosé or I've got some white wine in the fridge, but I think I might have some white wine tonight. Um, yeah, treat yourself, why not? So I'm just chilling, enjoying my wine. Um, tonight is actually the night of the final of the Great British Bake Off. Um, because I was so busy faffing around with my hair, um, I missed like the actual time when it streams. So it's just starting now on Plus One. So yeah, I'm staying off social media, no spoilers. Um, who do I think is going to win it? I want to say... Is it Dave? Is that his name? Just because he's done really well. Like he had such a shitty start when I think it was actually the lady that went out in the first week or two. Um, She like knocked one of his signature or might have been a technical bakes off of like the like bench when they put them all at the end. Bless him. He's absolutely devastated. Um, But he's done really well. And I know last time I said this, the guy that I thought was going to do good went out like the week later. Um, But yeah, I think I think it's Dave. Um the dark haired guy yeah he's done really well the last couple of weeks so yeah my money's on him obviously you guys will have seen who has won by the time this video goes up but let me know in the comments down below if you picked the person who actually won it or not so yeah the last things after i finish watching bake off are gonna be and obviously finish my wine uh gonna do my skincare routine um it's just a standard routine which i showed you guys in my latest video so if you haven't seen that already then please go check it out um and i might put a bit of fake tan on um but other than that yeah it's just gonna be a nice children's hope you guys are having a nice evening whatever it is you are doing and i will check in with you a bit later the winner of the great british bake-up 2020 is So there we have it. I got it wrong. Uh, it was Peter that won this year's Bake Off. But yeah, he did really good. Um, I, I'm surprised how close it was, like, was right up to the wire. I do absolutely love Bake Off. And isn't it great that we got through this year without pre-announcing it on her Twitter? Does anyone remember that? I remember that being absolutely hilarious. Um, yeah, I can't remember which year it was. I think it was a couple of years back where she just like announced, I think she was abroad and didn't realise the time zones and she announced it before the show actually aired. It was hilarious. Um, but yeah, so that is done. That's Bake Off over and done with for another year. It always goes in like the blink of an eye, I always think. Um, I, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's just really good TV in the week. Okay, on to skincare. So I've done my cleanser. So I'm just going to start with my toner. So I'm taking the Soothing Facial Toner by Simple. And I'm just using that on a large cotton pad all over my face. Excuse my hair. It always goes absolutely wild when I let it dry naturally. But sometimes it's good to let your hair dry naturally on its own rather than applying any heat to it. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to go in with my Ordinary Retinoid. This is the 2% one. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of the Lactic Acid. This is the 10% one, again, by the Ordinary. So if you want a more in-depth kind of talk through about the skincare that I do, then I've done a video on it and all the steps that I include in my skincare routine so I'll link that down below for you guys but this is what I've been doing over the last 
probably six months and it has definitely made a huge difference to my skin I still obviously get the odd kind of blemish every now and again but that's hormones for you that's what happens everyone gets them at certain times especially in the month then I'm moving on to my night cream this is the vital vitamin cream this is the night one again by simple I just love their skincare products because they're so affordable um you know if I could afford to spend money on those high-end skincare brands and I would definitely give them a go but we can't all afford to do that so it's good to know that you can still get really good results and you can still look after your skin really well without having to blow the bank account and I'm just going to go in with a small amount of my rose hip oil this is again by the ordinary you really don't need much of this My skin looks super oily but give it 10 minutes and it will have soaked everything in okay last step i'm just going to take my drying lotion by mario badescu so i'm just going to use this on this area of acne that i've got here i don't know it's not it's difficult to say because it's not um i don't think it's a spot per se but i'm just going to whack a bit of this on tonight and see if that will help because it has been lingering and it's got a bit red and irritated over the last few days so we'll see hopefully that will help and then i'm just going to go in with my usual lip balm so this is one by the body shop okay that is skincare done so i'm sorry guys this hasn't been a particularly thrilling uh kind of evening vlog but yeah as i say there's not a huge amount we can do at the moment hopefully things are going to be getting a little bit better when we start to ease out of lockdown at the start of december um but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching if you've stuck through until now if there's any videos that you want me to film for you in particular then please let me know in the comment section down below i always read and reply to your comments as soon as I can and yeah if you've liked this video then please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next video